Vaughn, why did you decide to come to A&T? Well, I live here in Greensboro, and I waited too late to be accepted anywhere else, so I decided to come to A&T. A&T fairly easy to get into, or what? Mm, in a way, more than other schools, probably. What do you think about the standards here as compared to maybe University of North Carolina, Greensboro? Oh, well, I'm not sure about the other colleges, you know, so. Mm, they might be the same as A&T, but... Most people say ANT is not as high standard as the other colleges, but I'm not sure about that. Did you try to get into any of the other colleges? No, not really. My father wanted me to go to college, and I worked a year, and I decided to go to ANT. Would you have gone to, say, Chapel Hill or Duke or any of those schools if, you, you know, would, would you have wanted to? Mm, not really. I wanted to go to an art school, but I just hadn't made up my mind which one I wanted to be uh, accepted in. How have you found the program? Hmm? How have you found the program here? It's all right, but I really want to go into commercial art, and A&T doesn't have exactly what I want. So you're going to transfer, or are you going to stick it out, or what? Mm, I'm thinking about transferring maybe in, in my senior year, something like that. It's all right for now. This is 1978. It's an awful long time since the old days of segregation. Right. Literally everything is open to you when you decided to go to college. Why did you decide to go to a predominantly black college? Well, I decided to come to a predominantly black college because of the fact that the department that I wanted to go into, it had a lovely um, curriculum, you know what I mean? It had doctors, you know, a couple of good doctors in there. Um, every, most everyone had their masters, of course. But um, it was a real nice department. And I mean, the, the teaching, the head of the department was really slick, you know. Could have gone to, gone to Chapel Hill, have been just as good, if not better. Right, well, for one thing, my money situation. I'm not, you know, practically a rich man or anything. I come where I could afford. And I mean, I probably could have got accepted there. As a matter of fact, I applied to um, UNC Charlotte. I applied to, um, what's the name of that college? It's a little small college. Mm, um, yes, and um, I got accepted at those. And um, I kind of figured I could have got accepted practically maybe anywhere I wanted to go, just about. But I decided to come here because I like the department. Like I said, it's close to home, and um, it serves a need. It serves a good need. Socially, it's a lot easier for you to come here, too, isn't it? That's true, because, in fact, a lot of my friends are here. Well, that's one reason, and uh, it's just a nice area. I like the place. I love it. I love Greensboro. Okay, thank you. You made a conscious choice to come here. Why did you choose to come to a black school? You could have gone anyplace else. Well, a and T. I I guess I just like to be around, well, not necessarily like to be around black people, but I felt that, you know, I could really get into, you know, the black scene, really find out what's happening with my black people, you know, to um, learn more about them to really get into the activities, you know, and to really... Do you think you'd have been isolated at a white school? Not really. I don't think so. I think maybe um, if I were at a white school that um, I would probably study more, study, not study more, but be closer to my books because, you know, there won't be too many activities that be pulling me away from my work. But here, I seem, to, you know, I still get my work done, you know. But there are a lot of activities that might cause you to um, turn away from your work from time to time. But still, you know, I find time to do my work, and it's, it's okay. How does it make you feel when people say that this is a second-class institution, academically? A second class? I don't, well, I don't feel it. So sometimes you think you, maybe you would have wanted to go to a more integrated school. Yes, um, sometimes I think that, like I was saying, because, like, well, at a and you know, you have to do your work, but still, you know, you're around about a lot more friends because, you know, you know more blacks, really, than you do white, and because of that, you know, you might have a notion to um, get into activity sometime, you know, and then that might cause you to do your work late, but you get it done, you still get it done, because you know you have to get it done, and it's your major, you're here to be somebody, and you want to be somebody, 
So you have to do your work. Do you think if you had gone to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill or UNC at Greensboro, that when you got out, you'd, you'd end up with a better education, that you might be able to get a better job than when you graduate from here? Um, well, a lot of people say that. But I think if you really get down, if you're really interested in doing your work, you can learn either place, you know, because it's really up to you, you know. They might say they have better instructors at Chapel Hill than they do at A&T, but I still think it's all in the individual who wants to learn, you know. So if you study hard, you know, and just try to be somebody, you can make it. It really doesn't make any difference where you're at, really. Cause Wouldn't it be nicer, though, if you had, uh, if, if you had better professors, a better program helping you along. If you've got that desire and you've got a better program, aren't you going to end up being a better person? Well, I guess you could say that, really, you know, if you have better professors or better um, programs, you know. But here, it's a pretty good program, you know, and everything seems to be working good so far, so far for me, I could say, and I think for a lot of other people here, because like, I know a lot of friends that have gotten out in engineering and business and have really good jobs and, you know, they're making it. So, it might, I'm sure it would. <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Good luck. Howard, when you were deciding on colleges. You only applied to two. You applied to Central and you applied here. So you only applied to essentially all black colleges. Why? You could have gone anywhere. Well, true. The main reason I applied to these schools were because they, they ran in the family. Uh, my sisters, I had one sister to go to uh, a black school in Winston-Salem, which was Winston-Salem State. And I had one that came to uh, North Carolina a and and one that went that that majored in political science and was a law student out of uh, North Carolina Central. Also, my mother went to North Carolina Central, so they kind of persuaded me to go to black schools because of the atmosphere. I could get along with with the students, and and I wanted to uh, more or less be around black school because all my friends were at black schools. Do you think you could have gotten along at Chapel Hill, sir? Well, I, ha I have a lot of friends at University of North Carolina. I, w I think uh, my grade point average wasn't high enough for me to get in that school, so I never applied. I applied at A&T because uh, I heard that it, didn't, that it didn't take but a, maybe a C average to get in. What do you think that's going to do when you get out of here? Are you going to be as prepared for a political science career as somebody who would graduate from Chapel Hill? Well. If I wanted to pass the bar, I would, I would have to use a library uh, such as the one at the University of Chapel Hill. I mean, I can still go to a uh, and and pursue political science, but the main thing I want to do is to be a lawyer. And if I major in political science here, I could go to law school, say, uh, the University of Chapel Hill. That's if I prepare myself well enough while I'm here at a and you think A&T can get you into uh, Chapel Hill? I think so. Uh, A&T has pretty good political science uh, building, and, and they have the facilities necessary. Um, so does North Carolina Central in Durham, North Carolina. Uh, it is a law school. Yeah, and I think that with enough uh, studying, doing the necessary things that I could maybe go to. I would like to go to UNC because there, because if you graduate from the University of North Carolina, that's highly uh, successful for a black person. So I, I'd like to uh, pursue my political science career further by going to the University of North Carolina. What purpose in these these years of the 70s, the late 70s and approaching the early 80s, I mean, it's a long time since segregation days. You probably don't even remember them now. Uh, what purpose does a black school serve anymore? Well, it's, it's still a part of education. 
I'm just here because I decided to come to be in the black atmosphere, but I just want an education now. I've grown up and I'm ready to start working, and it makes no difference what school I go to. I'd be glad to go to the University of North Carolina. But you don't think that you could have gotten in? No, I don't think I could have gotten in, not with the grade point average I had coming out of high school. But that was because I wasn't serious about, I, I wasn't really serious about what was going to happen to me after I did graduate from high school. But after I graduated, I realized that it wasn't mo no more playing around. I had to do something. So I wanted to be a lawyer like my sister, so I decided to uh, pursue my career at A&T. You think maybe the purpose of black schools these days is to take care of the people like you who, who weren't that serious in high school and although you may be bright it doesn't show up on the scores and just to help you all along until, until you do get serious? Is, is, that, is that the function of a black school as you see it? Well I, I think that the black school was developed because during the time of segregation that was the only place that the blacks had to go and now that in, during this time uh, I see that it, we are equal to go to any school that we would like to go, but I just wanted to be around uh, my black friends, you know, and for a while, and so that I could get adjusted, I wouldn't be scared to go to no other big school, you know. And um, I really think A&T is a nice school, and I think the programs are just about as as good as the programs that are at the big white universities. And uh, I guess that's about all I can say. Thank you, Howard. Stay right there. Go. Go. Why did you apply to only black schools? You're, you could have gone anywhere. They're, they're, nobody's forcing you to go here. Why did you only apply to black schools? Well, uh, like I said, I you know thought I could do better at a black school and. Most of the schools that I have gone to all my life, I've been going to black schools, you know. So I said, why not a black college? Would you have liked to have gone to white school? Yeah, I think I would have. But, um, you know, I just think I would have done better at a black school, you know. Um, being that, uh, you know, I'm more familiar with mm. blacks. Would you like to see more white people come here? Yes, I would. Why? Because I feel like a school should have not only, you know, one race, you know, all, all races should be able to come to any school that they want to. Why do you think whites don't come here? Because there's so many blacks, I guess. I don't know, I really can't say. Is there anything, is there anything unique here, educationally, that could draw white people to this institution? Well, this is just my first semester, so mm -hmm. I... I but still, I haven't, um, you know, been around. I'm not really familiar with the school myself. Um, mostly what I do is just, you know, go to my classes. I don't try to roam around, you know, yeah. and see what's what. But uh, I guess it, there is, you know, something somewhere that would attract more white students. I don't know. Okay. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you.